All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to change the battery, replace the battery in a key fob. So most modern key fobs uh, will often have a backing that you can re replace. And the number one tip I would say is to make sure and remove the valet key if you have one. So for example, in this, this Ford F-150 key, if we remove the valet key, um, you'll see in the back here, there's a, there's a hole that we can insert uh, one of our handy tools, which is a good flathead uh, screwdriver here. And you can get in there and this allows you to pop the back right off. And this works on, on most modern key fobs. Uh, they'll have a, re a replaceable battery, a uh, non-rechargeable uh, watch battery. And once you get into the back here, you'll pop this off and get access into this battery. And this one, for example, is a CR2450, uh, which is pretty common in, in more of the remote access or remote unlock uh, uh, key batteries that are in most car fobs today. So you can just pop out and replace the key battery just like that and then pop this back on. Um, another example of one that's kind of an easy uh, pop in, pop out would be um, this other Ford fob it has a key that just pops out. And again, the key here, <laughs> the key to the key is to, uh, in the middle here, the, you'll usually see some indentation. So on this one, it's at the, at the base here near where the key flips out. There's a, a little indentation and it allows you to kind of get some access to pry um, this back off. It just gives you enough leverage to be able to get this to slowly uh, pop off. And some are easier than others. Whoop, there we go. So again, a lot of these backs will just pop right off. So on, on your key, look to see if it has kind of an easy back to, to pop off here and then you can get in and replace this. This is a, this is a 2032 battery one of the more common uh, key batteries. And then you can just pop this back on and that's how you replace uh, this one. Now, um, another example of your back may look different. This is a BM, older BMW one. So if we take the uh, valet key out, you can see this outline here, kind of looks battery shaped, right? And if we looked in here, oh, look, there's a nice little slot we can put in our flathead and pops right off. And there's our 2032 uh, watch battery. So again, most, most modern ones will have a, a, a replaceable battery like this that just pops in and out and you can pick up it on Amazon or your local grocery store will often have this uh, type of watch battery. Uh, now, some, some models, uh, maybe some older ones, will have a replaceable battery, but it's not necessarily as easy to get into. So if you look at this Ford key, you know, there's not really a there's no backing here that looks like it pops off, although you know there is a line that goes all the way around the key. And same thing on this older fob as well. And so on these ones, what you may need to do is score. Uh, when I say score, that just means kind of cutting around right on this line to kind of, if there's any glue or just to kind of get some separation in there, then you can take your handy dandy flathead screwdriver and just kind of slowly pry apart. And in this one, there's actually a little bit of a larger area here. So look on the key if there's any indentation, you can kind of get some leverage in there and just kind of slowly pry apart this key and boom, there you go. You get access to this 2032 replaceable battery. So again, now to secure this, you might want to super glue around the edges here just to uh, make sure that, that this stays in place once you replace it. But even this all will kind of pop back in it seems pretty secure, but I might super glue this if I wanted to ensure that it stays in after I've replaced it. Or an older, an older fob like this doesn't have a key on it. Same thing, kind of score around the edges here, and then you can get in with, with your little uh, flathead screwdriver and just kind of slowly pry this key apart. And these ones, like I said, some of these older ones can be a little more difficult uh, to, get, to get. And just kind of work your way around real slow and just kind of slowly work the edges here. And then you'll be able to remove this. And there's your, your small key battery. And again, this is a 2032, uh, really common battery that uh, you can replace there. And then again, if you wanted to super glue kind of the edges, it'd be good to pop that, that back in. And, and that's how you replace um, these replaceable, you know, non-rechargeable batteries. Now, if you have a, uh, a battery that when you open up the casing, Usually it, it will require some work for sure. And it looks like this, and it's actually soldered onto the circuit board here. This is a rechargeable battery. This is a VL2020. And this will require a little more work because you would actually need to desolder these points here 
and then solder on uh, these two connection points for this, this rechargeable battery. So if you have one that's soldered on like this, uh, make sure you get a soldering gun and the correct battery. Most of these are VL2020, um, and you can solder on a replacement battery. These are rechargeable. So uh, I hope this video is helpful on how to replace a uh, battery in a key fob.